Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. Sorry it's been a while since I made an update video of this. Um, I had a mini obsession with the Portal games. I finally finished Portal 1 the other night and then I've just been playing non-stop Portal 2 the past few days. But anyway, um, otherwise I really sh have, you know, been working on my projects for class and I should be working on it right now, but I was, I'm just feeling guilty for not making any videos. Anyway, um... Before I forget, I'm just going to once again advertise my Facebook page because I know there's more than 24 people who like my YouTube page. Seriously, I don't spam and when I post something it's either an update for videos or it could be something really interesting like today I posted a collaboration music video thing of um, people like fans who made a an arrangement, I guess, of Dragonborn Comes, that the Bard song in Skyrim. Yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. Go check it out. Anyway, moving on. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. Not oh, yes, I am. Let's see, I think there's, yeah, there's like lockers in here. More stuff. Oh shit. Ah! I should have waited. <laughs> no, go down. God damn it. Ah. Fail. That's like, what's I get when I haven't played this game in over a week? <laughs> oh, god. Ah, I fail. There we go. <laughs> and it looks like I've got. I have nothing here that would be good. Let me just take a look though. I, I'm pretty sure that this is no improvement here. Okay, so sniper rifle. Yeah, not really. Alright, let's check out his assault rifle here. Okay, something better for him here. Alright, let's go for it. Okay, so we did get something good out of that. <laughs> Alright. Nothing for Liara, though. Alright. Let's talk to the bitch Asari over here. What? What? You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What a bitch. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. <laughs> you seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Ooh. Tell me about yourself. I am Molestia Alice from the University of Arrays. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? <laughs> what a bitch! Do you know Matriarch Venezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? I want to stab her in the face with the barrel of my sniper rifle. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. <laughs> Jeez. You guys are still smoking so far into the future. Come on. What? No. Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? Hey guys, sorry about that. My um computer fro well not my computer, the game frozen uh exited out on me as soon as I talked to this guy. Um I'm going to try one more time to talk to him. 
What? No! Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? Alright, there we go. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Rialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. Of course. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. I'm paying for that now. What do you know about the hot lab? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. I'm too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. Okay. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Alright, alright. I'm gonna save really quick in case that made some other future conversation um, freeze. There we go. Oh, this is the restricted area. I don't want to go there. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't see that. If I go to restricted area, then all the guards are aware and they'll all shoot me and then things aren't half as easy. What? What, what do you want? I've had a long day. Don't piss me off. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I haven't had much sleep in day. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. You suit yourself. I'm just trying to avoid an incident. Okay, I guess I do have to not renegade to this. What happened to these people? They're suffering. Okay. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. You should consider doing safer experiments. All progress requires... Look, is this really the time for an ethics debate? We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. You want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Forest B is highly infectious, but it can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote, and Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis's guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. 
I've been administering stims at their request. Every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he... <laughs> we lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay. Off we go. Wait a sec. Oh, I think... Okay, it was just pointing to that. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something else to look at. Alright. Alright, so that's restricted area. Barracks. Quarantine and barracks. There we go. This is what we want. Okay, time to talk to Han Olar. You came to find out about them, didn't you? Are you trying to be cryptic, or are you just nuts? I wish I were crazy. It would be easier. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Been waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? You're gonna be crazy. Be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. In retrospect. <laughs> I think it's completely a bad decision. I heard you were at the Hotlands. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Dr. Zonua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Oh dear. The only thing you could do was save yourself. Of course. That is perfectly true. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. But the specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. By the way, when I had to go through all this area again, I managed to get that one storage locker that I couldn't get before. So I got a new pistol for Liara and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Oh shit! No! There we go. <laughs> um, I'll have to see what the Kessler is like and see if it's better for Liara. Equipment. Liara. Pistol. Nah. I like my damage. Alright, so this is just telling me to go. Oh, I have to talk to Ventralis. Da derp. You sure I can't just go inside? 
That's a maintenance area. I can't go in there. There, that's her. That's I doubt I can just walk in, but yeah, I don't think so. You're not part of the crew. My name's Shepard. <laughs> Damn it! I thought maybe I could. Fine, I'll go back. <laughs> I love it. You know, you think that the renegade option, which is usually the bottom option, would more emphasize their um, superiority or their title. Instead, he's like, I'm Shepard. <laughs> oh, anyway. Okay, so this way, right? Right? I hope so. Yeah. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. If we survive, your employers will want a report from me. I wonder how much insurance they have on those scientists. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Great. We'll be stuck unless he decides we're healthy. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. <laughs> Shakes his hand. I've got work to do. You and me both. Wow. Okay. So I'm thinking that this playthrough will just be kind of a really basic one, like very little side missions, mostly because um, we're less than a month now until Mass Effect 3 and I seriously <laughs> doubt that I'll be able to get this and Mass Effect 2 done before then. So the point being that um, I'm just going to do my best to get at least the Renegade of Mass Effect 1 done before then. Um, so yeah. Oh, I didn't see you there. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty much just gonna do kind of a quick, not necessarily a speed run of this game, but like just not really doing side missions. What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radio. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. I don't really see any way to prove that I'm not contaminated through a door that's just kind of there and has no way of, like, communicating through it, but okay. Aw, oh, shit. No! Sorry, the thing just, like, froze on me in the middle of- Damn it! Damn it! I almost got it! Ah. Uh. Frick. Stupid fraps. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I just stopped recording and re recorded. Anyway, here we go. Oh, duh, that was read. Okay, access. <laughs> okay, so I hit E, right? When it's. Okay, cool. Your mission ends here, Shepard. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. That suddenly makes me laugh like... <laughs> Ambush! <laughs> oh, he's like... Seriously, I just realized that Garrus just basically kept in obvious in this game. 
<laughs> okay, I'm over it. What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Aw, oh, crap, man. Okay, that's not gonna work. It's not letting me investigate. Is it on the other side? No. Oops, I am used to being able to jump. That's weird. I, I'm pretty sure I got the actual info from it, so. Aw, oh, poor asshole Turian. He's all dead and stuff. They came out of there. That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Alright. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Time to go get the car keyed thingy majiggy to get in there and not set off the alarms. <laughs> Med Bay this way. <laughs> I'm so directionally challenged. I mean, I, you guys know that already, but seriously. <laughs> Is that the cure? You did it. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. All right. I was ambushed in the lab you sent me to. If you set me up. You were attacked? I, I... I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look. The guards... They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow that way. Let me see that fire. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough. That, oh God, what a cliche. You saved their lives, do you know that? And I almost lost mine. Thanks is all I get. We need to be at peak to fight those aliens. Give us some metagel. Of course. Here. Didn't get these for me. And Trollis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Okay, awesome. I leveled up. Let's go level up. Actually, I should probably unrecord and re-record. Hold on. Okay, we're good. All leveled up and stuff. Alright, so off we go to maintenance and then off to confront Venezia. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. I don't like yawning while I let's play, but <laughs> sometimes I can't freaking help it. Okay. Alright, here we go. Off through maintenance we go. 
I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be any enemies, but I'm not 100% certain. Garrus! What is your problem? Get back here. Hey! Where are you? The hell? Come here. Garrus. Garrus! Should I shoot him? <laughs> okay, never mind. He'll... he should, like, teleport ahead or whatever it is they do once they're, like, off your map. Garrus! He should be popping up any second now. <laughs> wow, okay then. There he is! Finally! Average decryption, meaning I'm going to fail. Or not. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got. Okay, so I can go... Um, check to see. I think a lot of that is just repeats of stuff I already have. But let's just check it out. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, hold on. I'm gonna save just in case there's any issues. Damn it. Oh shit. <laughs> Fail. Alright. There's 